guys. Okay, so I wanted to try and get a few videos out for you tonight, but it is already half past six and I haven't had dinner and I don't know if I'm actually going to get out as many videos as I thought I would. Basically, the holiday tag, Christmas tag, has been going around YouTube and I wanted to do it because it looks amazing. It actually looks really, really fun. Um, me and Steve have been quite Christmassy today. We have finished our Christmas shopping. Woohoo! Yay! We've actually finished. We've actually finished. And um, we've just got to go and pick up some stuff for my mum and dad next week. Um, but other than that, we sorted. So I'm actually off work next week so I can wrap everything, make sure the Christmas cards are written and ready to go, um, make sure we're all packed and stuff ready to go down and see parents and etc so forth. So everything is looking really really good which is great. Um, so basically I've seen about four or five different versions of the tag so I've taken questions from all of them and I've written them down and I'm just gonna crack through them and see how we get on. So question one, what are you doing for the holidays this year? Well basically um, we are going down to stay with Steve's mum and dad for Christmas Eve and Christmas Eve night and for most of Christmas Day and then on Christmas Day evening we're going to my mum and dad's and we'll stay there over Christmas Day night and Boxing Day um, and then we're going for a walk the day after Boxing Day, I think we're going for a 16 miler nice um, and then we'll be coming home so we're away for three days um, three days three nights so uh, should be really really nice actually I'm quite looking forward to it question two what's my favorite holiday drink now that's interesting because I'm quite weird when it comes to Christmas drinks because I really really like soft drinks if it's during the day because I don't want to get too kind of giggly over lunch um, a glass of wine with lunch is always good um, I do enjoy a glass of wine, um, Bucks Fizz as well, um, I'm loving the Bucks Fizz, um, it's quite nice for breakfast actually. Um, uh, I'm kind of more of, a, um, more of a soft drink during the day and then it'll probably be on the old cider at night because I am from Somerset now and I really should be drinking the old cider. Um, I'm not really a massive alcohol drinker to be completely honest, I don't drink a lot at Christmas so um, yeah probably cider, cider just to, I don't know just cause. Um, okay, candy cane or gingerbread man? Candy cane. I don't mind gingerbread men, don't get me wrong, if I could choose both I would, but I much prefer, much prefer candy canes over gingerbread men. I've got some on my tree actually. I'll have to go and get them. My favourite Christmas song. My favourite Christmas song is Shaking Stevens' Merry Christmas Everyone. I love it. It's closely followed by Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow. Um, whether you want the traditional, um, I want to say Dean Martin? Could be Dean Martin, Bing Crosby. I'm sure it's one of the Rat Pack. Um, you know, or any covers. I, I don't mind. I love Let It Snow. It's brilliant. The weirdest present I've ever received. <laughs> the weirdest situation I've ever been in when I've received a Christmas present. I can't think of any weird presents. Okay, well, I can't answer that, but the weirdest situation, when I was about six or seven, my parents asked me to open the curtains to let some light in to take some photos. And there was a bright pink bike um, with a basket and tassels. And um, I opened the curtains, I took one look at the bike and I sat down and I said, Oh, someone's got a bike for Christmas. <laughs> um, okay, have I ever made a snowman? Of course I've made a snowman. Who hasn't? My favourite winter fragrance. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I love the smell of... Um, oh my god, Christmas trees. Like fern Christmas trees are just amazing. I love that smell. Um, Christmas cookies, Christmas pudding, bubble and squeak, actually cooking on Boxing Day, bubble and squeak, that's a really really good smell, it's one of my favourite Christmas smells. Um, and then things like, like kind of like cranberry, um, kind of cinnamon, you know like the kind of scented candles, Christmas candles, I love the smell of Christmas candles, I do like them. What's on the top of my Christmas list? I have no idea. So many people have asked me, what do I want for Christmas? I don't have a clue. I honestly, I have no idea whatsoever. I couldn't tell you what I want for Christmas because I don't know. Um, there's nothing I want, there's nothing I need. So I don't actually know what is on the top of my Christmas list. I haven't 
really got a Christmas list, to be completely honest. So I don't know. And what's the most important thing about the holidays? Spending time with my family. Um, having moved to Somerset and all my parents, all my parents, <laughs> my parents and Steve's parents are back uh, where we grew up. Um, I just love spending time with them and, um, you know, it's it's really nice to just chill with the family and not have to worry about, you know, anything. You know, you forget about the house, you forget about bills, you forget about money, you forget about everything. It's just all about the family and it's all about, you know, kind of snuggling up in front of the fire and watching the film and, you know, it's just it's just really, really lovely. I, I've, I love spending time with my family anyway, but it just seems a little bit more special at Christmas. My favourite Christmas movie, now that's difficult as well because I have so many. I love Home Alone, um, especially Lost in New York, I think that film's amazing. Uh, the Polar Express is a fantastic film. Um, love Actually, that is a Christmas film. Um, what else do I like? Muppets Christmas Carol. <laughs> loads of, loads of kiddie films, you know, I don't like concentrating on films over Christmas. You don't need to. It's Christmas. You shouldn't have to concentrate. So anything, anything fun. Okay, are you on the naughty or nice Christmas list? Define nice. <laughs> um, no, I'm definitely on the nice Christmas list. Um, I don't do naughty things. I think. Um, an embarrassing Christmas photo and I have to share it. Okay, so I don't have any recent ones, but here are a few that I found. Oh dear. <laughs> yes, well, we won't talk about those. Um, do I play or sing my favourite Christmas songs? I sing them as loud as possible. Um, Steve has to turn up the radio in the car because I sing over the top of the songs. And he's like, oh, I can't hear the songs. I'm like, I don't care, I'm singing them. So I sing. Um, can I name all of Santa's reindeer? I'm trying to remember the song. Um, there's Dasher and Donna and Blitzen and Vixen and Happy Dopey Doc Sleepy Sneezy. No. Um, Donna, Blitzen, Vixen, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Rudolph, obviously. There's another one. There's a two more. Two, four, six, eight, nine. No, there's three more. I don't know. I'll write them all below now. Uh, that's the names of them. I don't know. I'm not going to cheat either. I haven't cheated. I'm going to edit this afterwards. And there's the names of them. No, I can't. I can name six. Six of them. I can do six. Um... Okay, what holiday tradition are you looking forward to? I am very, very much looking forward to the best sleep of the year, which is the sleep straight after Christmas dinner. You have a massive big slap up meal, and then you go and find a space on the sofa and you zonk out for an hour. Oh, it is, it is the best sleep in the whole I absolutely love it. I think it's the best sleep. Although, if you're looking at more of a, more of a proper Christmas tradition, um, my mum's um, bubble and squeak Christmas um, Boxing Day, which is obviously all the leftovers from Christmas Day, just roasted and topped with melted cheese. <clears throat> Can't wait. Um, do I have a real or a fake Christmas tree? I have a fake one. I'm not trusted with a real one. No, I have a fake one. It was a present from Steve's mum and dad um, until we found our own, which we haven't even bothered to look for, actually. <laughs> we should probably get around to looking for our own Christmas tree. Um, what's my all-time favourite Christmas food and sweet treats? Christmas food, um, mince pies, Steve's Nan's mince pies, hands down, best mince pies in the world. They're amazing. Um, my mum's trifle. I'm only going on sweet treats here. Best Christmas food. I really like pigs in blankets. I love pigs in blankets. Stuffing. If you would just, just give me a plate of pigs in blanket and stuffing, I'd be quite happy. Um, giving or receiving gifts, which is better? Honestly, I'd have to say giving. Um, okay, I don't like the stress of going out and buying Christmas presents because it does get really stressful especially when I can't decide what to get everybody but I love seeing their faces and I love being kind of more especially with Steve's we set limits we set 
like money limits as to how much to spend on each other and it's really really difficult to stick within that limit but find something that I know he's gonna like so that I do enjoy giving rather than receiving um I love receiving don't get me wrong <laughs> uh, but I do love finding and buying presents for people just knowing that you know I've probably found them something they're really gonna like um your most tacky Christmas attire um <laughs> I have another photo. It's not tacky, tacky tacky, because it's not like a cr bad Christmas, but I did wear it at Christmas, so I'll put it up now. Oh come on, I look cute. Don't I? I don't understand this. I was obviously getting ready to punch somebody. It's quite a violent child. Um, are you a pro present rapper or do you fail? I'm a pretty decent rapper. No, no, that kind of wrap. No, I'm a pretty good <laughs> Christmas present wrapper. I love wrapping presents. Um, I'm actually wrapping all of the Christmas presents this year, apart from my own, obviously. Um, but everything that me and Steve are giving to families, um, I'm wrapping all of those because I love wrapping presents. Um, your most memorable holiday moment would probably be <laughs> the Christmas game. Um, my my nana had bought a game where you um, have five little men that stand up in a box. I have it somewhere. I do actually have the game somewhere. Um, and basically they all stand up. Do you know what? Wait there. I'll go and get it. Right, I've got it. Basically, um, when my nan died, it was passed down to me because it just holds so many memories for me. Um, basically, you're given... Uh, it's called Five Alive. Um, and you get... It's like a card game, like a maths adding game. And you get five men, see? And every time you lose a life, you put a man down, see? And once all of your men have gone, then you're out. Well, my gramps is a tiny little bit of a sore loser. <laughs> so that <laughs> this particular time that he lost, he got a pair of scissors. Now bearing in mind, this was the first time this game had ever been played, all right? The cellophane had just literally been taken off of the box. And um, we opened the box for the first time, laid all the cards out, started playing, my granddad lost. So he got a pair of scissors and he cut all the heads off. <laughs> it's just a fantastic memory. I've never laughed so much in my life. Um, it was brilliant. It was absolutely fantastic. So that would be my favourite Christmas memory because I just, oh my, it's so funny. Um, do you make resolutions and stick to them? Uh, no. Yes, I make them. No, I don't stick to them. Um, I have made my New Year's resolution for about the past eight years to stop biting my nails. That hasn't happened. Um, last year's Christmas resol well, New Year's resolution was to learn to drive. That hasn't happened. Uh, to read more. That hasn't happened. Um, to learn a new language. That really hasn't happened. So, no. I make them. I just don't stick to them. Um, okay, what's your favourite Christmas colour? I love red and gold actually. We went into a garden centre today and they've got like this massive gold section and it just looked absolutely beautiful. It was like all these golds and rusts and browns and it just looked, it looked really really classy. I really really liked it. So gold is definitely a big big favourite colour of mine. Um, do you wear your PJs or do you dress up for Christmas? Um, I wear my PJs up until about 11, uh, just while we're opening presents, kind of having breakfast, just chilling out, and then I get dressed up. And this year I actually bought myself a dress, which I'll show you because I love it. Um, I don't do a lot of dresses, I must admit, I don't do dresses. Um, this one was originally, it's from Marks and Spencers, and it was originally £49.50 and I got it for £18.99. A pretty decent bargain, I think you'll agree. Um, and I just thought this was perfect, perfect for Christmas. It's it's this kind of green. I hope you can see how green that is. Can you see that it's, it's a green? Can you see it's green? Kind of. And it's got all these dark black kind of um, detailing on it. And it goes around, this, this would sit on the waist and then it's just like a really, really beautiful flowy skirt. You kind of see the green there. It's really, really Christmassy green. It's absolutely beautiful. And then I have, I can't reach them. I've got some, I've got some heels to go with them as well, but I can't, I can't reach them, but they're old heels. They're, no, they're nothing, they're nothing new, but I do dress up for Christmas after I've finished chilling in my jammies. It's always good. Do you open your presents at Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Um, 
It kind of depends, to be honest. A couple of times we've opened them Christmas Eve because uh, a couple of years ago when me and Steve first moved out, we were allowed to open our presents Christmas Eve because we weren't seeing my parents. We spent, we spent, it was really weird, I can't remember how it worked out, but we opened our presents Christmas Eve. No, me and Steve opened our presents Christmas Eve, that's it, because we were going to parents' house Christmas Day, so we opened our presents to each other Christmas Eve. Um, but usually we open them Christmas Day. Um, it'll be Christmas morning for Steve's mum and dad's and Steve's family's presents to us, and then it'll be Christmas evening for my parents' stuff. So. So that was it, that was my holiday tag, that was kind of questions taken from all over the place, um, every every kind of different different um, tags that I've been watching. Thank you very much for watching, if I don't see you between now and Christmas, have a wonderful Christmas, um, stay safe, uh, keep warm and just enjoy it, have an amazing time and I expect to see loads of Christmas present hauls after, after Christmas because I want to know what you've all got because I'm nosy like that. Um, and uh yeah i will see you all soon take care guys bye it's the most wonderful